All right, welcome to today's video, everyone. So the question that we're going to be doing today is question 3B from the 2010 James Roos Foynet trial. The question says, let alpha, beta, and gamma be the roots of the equation x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Part 1, find alpha plus beta plus gamma. And part 2, hence find the cubic equation with roots minus 1 into alpha plus beta minus 1 into beta plus gamma and minus 1 into alpha plus gamma. So the first bit you should all know how to do. It's just the sum of roots. This is actually a three unit type of question. So the sum of roots is minus b on a. So we have minus into what's b? b is minus 1. That's the coefficient of x squared. And a is 1. It's the coefficient of x cubed. So we have 1 here. Okay, that's very easy. Part 2. Hence find the cubic equation with these roots. So since the question says hence, that means that we're probably going to be needing to use the previous part. So, what are we actually trying to find? We're trying to find a cubic equation with these roots. So, we want x equal to minus 1 outside of alpha plus beta to satisfy some equation. And we need to determine this equation. Okay, so how can we involve alpha plus beta plus gamma into this expression here? So if you think of doing this, subtracting gamma, but then adding it back again, so that means we haven't changed anything. But the reason we do this is because now we can factor out a minus 1 between these two terms. And we get minus 1 outside of alpha plus beta plus gamma, or plus gamma. Alright. Now, this minus 1, this here is minus 1 because from above we have alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to 1. So we have minus 1 plus gamma. And so therefore we have gamma equal to x plus 1. Okay. So, but we know that gamma satisfies the equation here, given in the question. So, but we know that gamma, gamma cubed minus gamma squared plus 2 gamma minus 1 equals 0, right? So, it satisfies the equation, so we can sub it in. So, now we can substitute this value, gamma equal to x plus 1, into this equation, and we'll get an equation with the roots minus alpha plus beta, minus beta plus gamma, and minus alpha plus gamma. So... Let's call this star, and we can sub gamma equal to x plus 1 in star. Okay, that's a horrible n, in star. Okay, so now we have x plus 1 cubed minus x plus 1 squared plus 2 into x plus 1 minus 1 equals 0. Okay, now we can expand this using binomial theorem, which you should know from your three maths. Uh, if you forget it, you can always just redraw the Pascal triangle. Right, so that's Pascal's triangle. And these are going to be the coefficients here. So we have x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1 minus, this will be x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 2x plus 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, so this simplifies to x cubed plus, now we have 3x squared minus x squared, so we have plus 2x squared. Now here we have a positive 3x minus 2x plus 2x, so that's just going to be positive 3x. And here we have plus 1, minus 1, plus 2, minus 1. So we're going to have a plus 1 equals 0. And that is your final answer. That should have roots of minus outside of alpha plus beta, minus 1 outside of alpha plus gamma, and minus outside of beta plus gamma. So these are the roots of this equation. 
And that's the end of the question. Thank you.